everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel toy hauler, one of the best of the best quality luxury and amenities. This is a 2022 Heartland Road Warrior model 375RW. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Road Warrior and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a Road Warrior. I actually don't remember, we haven't had a, ro we've either never done a Road Warrior or we haven't had one in a very long time. It is sister products to the Cyclone, but it's still super exciting whenever you see something new because even though they're similar, there's always some small variations of differences. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good, I'm really excited to take a look at this Road Warrior. Like Matt said, I, I know I've never seen one in person um, and I'm really excited. Uh, today we are here at RV Outlet USA. We're wrapping up a little bit, um, but we still got a couple more units to bring you. Yes sir, and it's uh, really nice. It is. The general manager Arissa, we're gonna meet her in a little bit. She's gonna go over the pricing with us, but Will, without further ado, Let's begin. All right. Model is Road Warrior 375. The actual tip tip length, 40 feet, 10 inches. The dry weight is 13,304 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,856 pounds. You 100% need a big truck for this, one ton truck for sure. Right up here, Road Warrior. Again, sister products to the Cyclone. Nice painted fiberglass front cap. Does look like we got the upgraded more ride pin yeah. box here, which is very nice. And then coming on the side here, Will, we are gonna have, look at that, very a nice generator. It's really exciting to see toy haulers starting to come with generators again. Not all of them are doing it, but the fact that some of them are starting to do it, it's just a good sign for the RV industry. Yeah, it definitely is. Right over here, Will, we do have some propane. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. And then you'll be able to see right there that it's six point auto leveling. Hydraulic. Yes, sir. And then coming on down the side here. All right. Nice storage, centralized vacuum with the um, with the aluminum framing there. And underneath there, Will, is spare tire, spare tire carrier. Now guys, we won't be able to shut up right now because there's music playing <laughs> in the background. And if we have too much silence, we're gonna get in trouble from YouTube. But right here is nice solid steps, Will. Okay. This also does have the thermal package. Is the music from the RV? It is. Jesus, Will, let's <laughs> get a shut off. Will, we're listening to all this music and you're trying to get us demonetized. <laughs> I thought it was coming from the building. So did I. But it's not, so right here, we do have these solid steps, non-hydraulic assisted. Very interesting. Yeah. And then we did mention the six point hydraulic auto leveling. Frameless windows, power awning with LED lights right there. Okay. And then there is another power awning with LED lights there. Nice. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the saloons, I love those. They are the ST235-80R16 with the Moride CRE suspension. Okay. Right over here, Will, in the garage area, it is solid steps, and it looks like there is a toolbox right there as well. Very nice. Yes, sir. Uh, coming around, finishing up, we do got the zero G ramp door from Mori. Uh, nice awning over here, and it is prepped for the Fury on backup camera. And I'm going to safely assume that you will it will come with solid steps so you can enter and access from the patio area. Right. We will see on the inside though. And then finishing up, ladder to get up on the roof, which we don't climb toy haulers. Yes. Right over here is our fuel station. Okay. Very nice. There's where you're dumping your tanks right there. Okay. And then here's another tank right here, Will. It's not a deep slide out, so we're not gonna knock them. I mean, it is a pretty bad spot. It but is. It is what it is. And then right over here, this is our valves. Nice that it's enclosed. Nice 12 gallon DSI water heater. And then here, look at this. Other side of the storage, 
all the outdoor showers, hookups and everything, black tank flush. Potable? Potable. Hang on. Oh. I don't know. I don't see it well. I don't either, actually. Well, then, there's... We just couldn't find it today. And then right over there, well, is the propane tanks. Okay. Well, well, the outside of this Road Warrior looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, well. Check it out, sir. Okay. All right, starting up front is the bedroom. And then coming down is the bathroom here. Down the stairs. Well, did you not kitchen. see the power button there? I did see it. I pushed oh. it. Well, I pushed it and went off. Oh. Living area kitchen <laughs> here. And the garage in the back. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kerr A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring this yes, video. Let's continue the video. This is a huge garage. It is. Really, really nice. We're starting back here, sir. Okay. Uh, these are these nice doors right here, the glass doors that also the glass drops down and makes the screen. It's good. It does drop down. Now, Will. Yeah. It does look like we lied to America. Why? This unit, oh no, never mind. I thought it didn't have the railings. Of uh, course it had the railings. Yeah. Here's what it doesn't look like it's coming with. It doesn't look like it's coming with those solid steps. I know. To like the these. back. It doesn't mean it doesn't have it. It just means it doesn't have it right now. Yeah. And then we do have this raises up so we can get all our toys in. Very nice size garage. Well, this looks like a 13 foot. Yeah. We got all the tie downs here. Very nice diamond plate rock guard here. And then, well, if you can get this bed down. Okay. By pushing that button there. Well, first show that storage. Right up there. Very nice. Nice TV right here. And then push that baby down. All right, that's gonna take a little bit of time. So yeah. while he's doing that, we're checking out this bathroom here. Nice little mirror, a little little sink right here, and then Will. Yeah. It's a plastic toilet. Oh man, really? I don't think the top one's gonna come down. It will come down, Will. Or maybe it won't. Oh, because the little pins are in, but that's okay. Well, guess what? what? This is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Right there is good, sir. I just want to demonstrate. This is the bed that comes down. It also flips up like this and flips up like this. And then when it's all the way down, a table sits right here so you can have it as a dinette. Yep. And then there's another bed that comes down. So I always call toy haulers the Swiss Army knives because, um, because they're multi-purpose. You can use this as a bunk room, as an office, as a toy hauler, as a din dining room, you know? Right. It just works out real well. And then to wrap up the garage area, Will, you can see that you are able to have a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. Coming on into the living room, we do have some, a loft right there. Yep. All right. Nice storage above the entertainment center. That's tall people storage. All right there. Will, how does it feel to be tall? normal okay <laughs> right over here is the television jbl sound speakers a radio obviously it sounded great because we're probably getting demonetized and right there will is a fireplace right and then directly across is the allure furniture collection so first kind of boring balances just yeah. brown but it's kind of nice and simple too 
Well, there's two sides of every story. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Nice slow rise MCD shades. Okay, here. Nice. Yeah, very nice. You got your cup holders here. Looks like there's some power and USB there. Cup holders here. This chair does. <clears throat> What more do you want in a toy haul? Exactly. Well, what more do you want? This is very nice. And again, it is at a good angle to where the TV is and everything. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Let's go inside, talk to Arissa, the general manager of RV Outlet in North Myrtle Beach. See what the price is. We're here at RV Outlet USA with the general manager, Arissa, of the North Myrtle Beach location, Arissa. What is the MSRP of the Road Warrior? Great question, Matt. That's $136,157. And we all know nobody pays MSRP at RV Outlet, so what is the sale price? That is on sale for only $84,950. And if somebody's interested in coming to Myrtle Beach to drive that baby home, how do they get in contact with you? Great question. Check us out at rv007.com or call us 843-756-2222. All right, Will, show us this kitchen. All right, we'll start right over here. Storage above the microwave. Yes. Which is a convection, by big, nice big convection microwave. Good looking backsplash there. A little bit of counter space on either side of the three burner Furion cooktop with blue lights and oven. And a drawer down below. Very nice. Yes. Right over here, you do have a two-way Dometic fridge and freezer. So this works off of electricity or propane right very there. nice over here is a nice island um solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen great countertop space tons of drawers storage there nice little seat here demonstrate that for us Let's see there you go all right sit on it will Oh, it's sturdy. Nice. Very sturdy. Well tested, well approved. That's right. Um, yeah, I really like that. You know, you can sit here and drink your coffee or whatever. Nice pantry space over here. Yes. And there. Very nice. And a little bit more cabinet space right here. Okay. This is definitely an, an interesting spot for the sink. Never seen the sink there. Yeah, well, I've seen it here, but not with the pantry there. Right, that's but what it I is mean. A nice big sink, single bowl, and then underneath is supposed to be two cabinets. Yes. But it looks like the doors are missing. Well, I mean, well, the cabinets are still there. Yeah. It's just the doors. It's just the doors. Yes, sir. Then over here is all our buttons for everything. You can even see your fuel station. Very, very nice. Yes. All right, well, it's now time for the shower test. Okay, it's an encore. Oh man, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, plenty of height, it's mm -hmm. good. Plenty of width and depth. I do like this shower. Um, you know, it's got like four sprays there. It's pretty cool, it definitely passes, bing! That's shower test seal of approval. That's right. Well, what do you mean with the four sprays? Right here. Oh, very nice. nice. And then over here is our medicine cabinet. Okay. Right here's a nice little sink with solid surface countertops. All right. Oh, man. This is not a prime poop position. I can see that. It's too cramped, huh? Right, well, yeah, it's way too cramped in here. Okay. Unreal. All right, well, finishing up in the bedroom area, we have a nice king size bed. Yeah. Little side on that side, but a bigger side on that right. side with, it looks like, yep, a wireless phone charger there. Cool. Right there, we do have storage. Over here, we got storage above. Nice. Nice storage all the way above here and on this side as well. Okay. And then you do have a little nook area. A couple drawers. Yep. And closet space here. All right. And then um, there, there is a TV there. Okay. And let's see if there's storage underneath this bed. Um, doesn't look like it. No, the sir. There the isn't. The slide comes in. But it does look like you can still put like your yep, shoes and underneath a drawer there. there. Oh, there is. Very nice. 
Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about the Road Warrior. Three things we don't like about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we like. Okay. You want me to go first? Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to say, like, this whole area is definitely really crammed. But the fact that they still got a king bed and a north to south layout. I love it. Yeah, I like that, too. That's a great number one, Will. That is a great number one. Come on down, sir. Okay. Number two, Will, I'm going to say I love these stools on the kitchen island. Yes. Those stools are nice. They're breakfast bar type. They, they store out of the way. And um, the fact of how sturdy they were was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. That's number two. Yep. What's number three? Do you have something? No. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give my number three because it'll also lead to the number my first dislike. Talk to me. Number three is I do really like this big island. It's nice and big. Plenty of counter space that's not like interrupted. You could call it. Um, yeah, I, I really like that on this island. Perfect. Well, that's three things we like about it. Now tell us three things we don't like about it. Okay, I'm going to start with this. What's that? This sink is in a, first off, it's just in a weird position. Second off, you don't have a dishwasher or anything, so you're going to have to set things out to dry. And you're constantly going to be washing this, turning around and setting it here, and then back here to wash. You know, wherever the sink is, you need some space to be able to put like a drying rack. Well, that's why you're on the show because I don't do dishes. <laughs> so I would have never thought of that as yep. my dislike. Well, that's dislike number one. Dislike number two, that bathroom size is atrocious. It is. Um, it is just, that's the smallest master bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Yep. Especially in a fifth wheel toy hauler. That's number two, Will. And then do we have a number third dislike? Hmm. I I'm gonna give it double. Yeah. A plastic toilet. That bathroom size is atrocious as well. I never strike manufacturers down for this because it's a half bath, yeah, right? right. But the plastic toilet on top of that, toy haulers aren't worried about weight. Right. I don't know why you did that. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. We can't wait to see everybody in a few weeks at the Hershey RV show. We're going to be in the same exact spot as last year. If you guys are interested in buying this unit, please call RV Outlet USA of Myrtle Beach or go to our website, MassRVReviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We know that they're going to make sure they give you great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, RV Alley USA, especially the Virginia location, is really well known for toy haulers. So that's why we want to hit some while we're here. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time.